Hi, I'm Chris Vanderhorst, Area Training Manager for Southeast Toyota, here today to talk to you about Toyota's new Intune system. Today we're going to walk you through a step-by-step -step process of how to register your customer, activate their account, show you how to pair the two most popular phones, the Android phone and the Apple iPhone, and also show you all the functionality of the Intune applications. So let's move to the computer and get started. Now that we're at the computer, the next step you want to do is go to the Toyota Intune site to register your customer. You'll come up to the navigation bar and type www.toyota.com forward slash Intune. Enter. Now on this, we'll take you to the Intune homepage. Before you get started registering a customer, the first thing you need to find out is if the phone they have is compatible with the vehicle they purchased. You'll come out to Account Registration and Login Information, which will bring to a screen. We'll get you some drop downs on the left side. You're going to want to go to Phone Connectivity. Scroll down to you see, do I have a compatible phone? Click on the link. Get started. And select a vehicle. We're going to select Prius V 2012. Now it's going to ask you what audio system, with or, or without navigation. Since all Intune systems come with navigation, we'll always click with navigation. It'll ask you what unit you have, the premium or the display audio. Today we'll use the premium audio system. And hit select phone. It does give you two options from here. You can select the carrier and phone number and it'll send you a text message to see if the phone's compatible. But I like the manual phone because we can select carriers along with the manufacturer of the phone and the type of phone you have. So here we select AT&T, Apple, and we'll go to the iPhone 4 and hit next step. When that comes up, you'll notice there is a green check mark that says this is compatible with Intune system. That going through this, you can view other features that are or are not compatible. They may come up with red X's, which is not compatible, or blue question marks, which means not tested. So under the Intune features, we'll notice that all of them are compatible with the phone. If you want to check things like message alerts, auto streaming, and hands-free features, it'll show that some may not be tested, which doesn't mean they don't work, it's just Apple has not tested them yet. Or you'll see some may come up with a red X, which means that particular thing is not compatible with that phone. From this point, you can scroll to the bottom and hit next step. This will give you printable pairing instructions for your customers to print out to Bluetooth pairing your phone into the vehicle. Now we're going to go to the vehicle and show you how to do that with the actual phone itself. Now let's go to the registration process. After you found out if your phone's compatible, you'll scroll down to registration and log on. From here, you'll find the get started tab. Click on the get started tab and enter your customer's general information as in their name, email address, and the vehicle identification number. And then we'll click register. That will now send an email to the email address that you chose to activate the account. Now that you're registered, now it's time to go check your email. You'll come to your email inbox, find an email from Intune. It'll tell you everything you need to know and how to set your password. What you're going to do is find the word that says this link right here. And you'll notice the customer's name will come up. From here, you just set a password. Confirm your password. Agree to the terms of service and hit activate. We'll now hit next. Take you to a screen that's actually welcome your name and that customer and hit my account. And it'll show that their status is now active and that account is now active within Intune. 
if you want to pair from this site here the options of the applications available if you already have set up you can do that here if you have a movieticket.com account your Pandora account or your open table account you just click on link account and put in if you're already an existing member your existing username and password for your Pandora account and hit link account if you're not an existing member you can walk right here and actually get started and put together a Pandora account so you can have that information on your head unit in the vehicle when you log in. Now that the account is registered and active, you will need to download the Intune app on your phone. You can go to the Android Marketplace, Blackberry's App World, or Apple's iTunes Apple Store. You click on the one that's affiliated with your phone, search for Toyota Intune in the search engine, and download the Intune application onto your phone. Once this is done, you can enjoy all the features that Intune has to offer. Today, we're going to talk about how to pair the two most popular phones, the Android and the Apple iPhone. So let's get started. First, we're going to pair is the Droid phone. The first thing you want to do is make sure your Wi-Fi is turned off and you're running on 3G or 4G. Then you're going to find your settings button, wireless and networks, and make sure your Bluetooth is turned on. Once that's turned on, you'll hit your Bluetooth setting and make your phone discoverable. Next, you'll come over to the Setup button on the head unit itself and locate Bluetooth. Connect phone, add new phone, scan for devices, and wait for car multimedia to come up. You'll say pair with this device. You'll push that button there. It again will ask you to pair the device. You'll hit pair. Screen will tell you everything's complete. Now, on some phones, such as this one in Blackberries, it'll ask for a map request, allowing you to give access to your phone book to transfer your data over. You have to do that, again, by pulling down, and always give it access to do that. The next thing you're going to want to do is find the Intune app that we'd already previously downloaded, launch the Intune app on your phone, Go to Info and App on the screen, hit the Apps button, and you're ready to enjoy Intune in your brand new Toyota. Now we'll look at the Apple iPhone. To pair an Apple iPhone, the first thing you do is find, again, your Settings button. Look for General, and then hit Bluetooth. Make sure, again, your Bluetooth is turned on. Once that's turned on, You'll go back to the car setup button again, find Bluetooth on a screen, connect phone, add new, and allow your vehicle, the vehicle to find your phone, which it did, car multimedia, push that. It'll ask if you want to pair, hit pair. All your connections are complete, and your phone book will automatically transfer with the iPhone. One is that's complete, Again, you'll go back into your phone, find your Intune app, make sure it's turned on, hit Info and Apps on your car, go back to Apps, and it's as simple as that to enjoy all the features of Intune in your new Toyota. Now today we're using the premium unit in this vehicle. Some of your customers may have just display audio with Intune. Now, if that is the case and they have an Apple phone, we do have to make sure to tell them they have to use the 30-pin cord connected to the USB in order for all the Intune applications to work. Let's take a look at the five apps that Intune does provide our customers on their new Toyota. First is Bing. What Bing is going to do for you is give your customers a search engine that will go out and search the whole entire Internet for anything they're looking for. You can put a specific place or you can enter just a search term and find like items and like places. So let's say we want a shoe store. If you're not in the area and you need to find what shoe stores are around, you'll simply put shoe store, OK, and then hit go. Now Bing's going to go out over the internet and find the closest shoe stores that are available for you and give you all the information you need in order to go there. Starting with the closest to your location, of Marshall Shoe Stores. Now it will give you the information for the address and phone number if you'd like to call them. Since you are set up for Bluetooth, you can call them by hitting that 
or you can set the map and send this right to your navigation system. Please proceed to the highlighted route, then the route guidance will start. And this will set you on your way to the closest shoe store. Next we have iHeartRadio, which is internet radio powered by Clear Channel's radio stations. This will allow you to listen to radio stations all over the country where you live. Let's say you're from Detroit, Michigan, and you're down here on vacation, you'll find the D. Click on Detroit, Michigan, and find Detroit, Michigan's rock station, 106.7, and be able to listen to what's going on right there. Next, we have movietickets.com. This will allow you to view showtimes, view theaters, and actually buy tickets right from your vehicle. By clicking on movietickets.com and locating the theater that has the golden ticket next to it, notes that that is a movie theater affiliated with movietickets.com where you can buy your tickets. Click on the theater of your choice. Locate the movie of your choice. It'll show you up and coming show times, allow you to buy tickets, and you're on your way. If you'd like to know how to get to the theater, again, you can map it right there and send it right to your navigation system. Now, Open Table will allow you to search affiliated restaurants with Open Table to set up any type of dining you'd like to have and reservations you may need. We'll check our current location and set our party for four people. We want our time to be about 6 o'clock p.m. We'll show the 40 closest restaurants that have availability for 6 p.m. for 4. You can scroll down and find the restaurant you'd like to go to. Let's say today we're going to go to Chopped Lobster Bar. And they have 545, 6, and 615. We said we wanted a 6 p.m. You'll put in your mobile number, hit confirm, and it will send you a text message with that confirmation for that reservation. Pandora Radio is also available on here. And if you have a Pandora Radio account already established, you can put your credentials like we talked about earlier and allow you to view all your Pandora existing radio stations as you like. Allow you to thumbs up, thumbs down a song just like you can on your computer. Skip songs or power songs. You'll also notice the two arrows that are on each side of the screen. Now Toyota has set up this Intune system up to be upgradable. So as new apps come available, the system can be updated and you can have the updated apps on your screen. Now those are the five apps currently available for you to enjoy with your Intune system. Now what we'll do is go back and I'll show you the five XM applications you have available for you starting with your traffic incidents, XM fuel prices, XM sports, XM stocks, and XM navigation weather. Now the traffic incidents will follow you along your navigation path that you have chosen and let you know if anything comes up, any traffic incidents or maybe any accidents come up and give you a proper detour so you can move yourself away and not get caught up in traffic. Your XM fuel prices will allow you to search not only the closest fuel stations, also the best price on fuel, and allow you to separate between regular or different grades like diesel fuel. The XM Sports app will allow you to follow your favorite sports teams, seeing how they are in the standings and what the updated news and scores are at the time of the day. Our XM Stocks will allow you to set the stocks which you prefer or stocks that you have, follow them and see if they're making you money or maybe not making you money. XM Navigation Weather will also track the weather currently where you're at and also different areas if you're going to be traveling away from your current location and let you know what's happening right now and also give you a forecast as what's going to happen along the next couple days. And those are your 10 total applications for you to enjoy on Intune with your brand new Toyota. But thanks for watching Intune Made Easy. If you have any further questions, please log on to toyota.com forward slash Intune for more information.